Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cowboy B over here at WetJet Performance, and we are installing the WJP rear carbon fiber Ram Air system, but we're doing the Valtronic doors. So let's go ahead and jump to it. It's a really easy install. We'll keep this short and sweet. You just go right here where you had your manual caps, and then you put it on that side. I'm gonna get my helper to do it while I'm filming. It'll already be assembled. You push it all the way on. Make sure it gets a good grip. Put a bead of silicone on the, uh, the flange. We had already did that. So on the inside up here, put a bead of silicone just so it sticks good and it gets a good seal on there and then clamp it down. You're good to go. It's on. It's all motorized now. Go repeat the same process on the other side. Slide it all the way on. Get it on there good. Apply, apply a little bit of pressure and put your screw on. All right, once you get your clamp on there tight, make sure you go to the front of the vent and you make sure you don't have any silicone to seep through the front. You don't need to put a whole lot there. Just put a little bit just to add a little more secure bond because okay, you don't want your flange to not open and close. So make sure you don't have any silicone to seep through the front. All right, once you got your pieces on with the silicone, all you do is take your your harness and we already got it wired in and for the rear ram air you would just have the two pigtails right here and you plug them up and the harness is going to run all the way to the front where the battery is and here is your jumper plug that you're going to put down on the battery hook it up positive and negative like so and then plug it up to the main harness if you only got the rear ram air you're only going to have a harness for two we got front and rear ram air on this baby so we got a four plug harness and you have to zip tie it all down to put it into place because all these harnesses will fit the RXPX and the RXTX and the GTX is one main harness. Those are longer than the RXPX so you're gonna have a little bit of extra slack to zip tie up. So you plug this up down there on the battery and then we plug it up to the harness and we'll show you how it's all hooked up at the end and where you're gonna zip tie your remote control control box right up here on the front in that area. All right, you got everything done. You take your jumper wire, put it right over here, into the plug right into the harness, left to right for the rear ram air. And remember, if this is just one, two plugs, you go straight to the battery. In our case, we have front ram air on both sides. So we got a four plug harness that goes to here. That's for the stereo, has nothing to do with that. Here's your remote control Bluetooth box right there. And everything is hooked up. So let's see it all, in all its glory. <clears throat> Boom, open. There, there. Here. And open here. And we're gonna go to the shut. here so everything opens all at once man that's awesome you got your carbon fiber ram air up front the carbon fiber ram air here and if you have an rtg system the ram air system comes with a couple of clips so you can take these wires and pin them down because you're going to take it and clip it right here so it's out the way and it won't bind up against the door or anything. And if you have OEM sound system, you'll still have to clip them too, just in case. So all that comes in your kit. And here is the harness going to here. You run it down into where your steering grommet is. You don't need to cut anything. Run everything down into there, get it pushed in good. And then put the rubber right back in place. It'll look like so and you'll still have a seal. So this is everything all hooked up. And remember, this gets you 40 degree cooler temps. You don't have to be a seat off bandit to get your speed. If you're riding and you open up your doors, instant three to four, maybe even five miles per hour because with Ram Air, 
I am running 84, 85 on a stage one that I guarantee is probably the fastest stage one in the country with Ram Air. Most people have to take the seat off to do that. Nobody wants to ride with the seat off and be all unsafe, looking crazy. It's cool for just test runs to see where your potential is. But when you put that seat back on without Ram Air, you go, your miles per hour will go right down. Your, your hull temps go right back up. And when people think they're putting frog skin on there, frog skin does absolutely nothing. It actually blocks off about 60% of your air. It's a vent, it's not an inlet. So it lets a little bit of heat out, but it doesn't really bring nothing in for you. So it's a waste of time. So when you get all this airflow under your hull from the front to the back, flowing all the way back here, make sure you have this hole cut because this is your exit and your seat does not have 100% seal on it. So when you get pressure built up in here from the air, all the air comes out from under your seat and comes out this hole, it evacuates, keeps your hull nice and cool. We got all the intake temps readings and they are very low compared to having the seat on with no holes in here and no ram air. So they no longer have to do them ghetto holes. And let's just see it one more time for the road. Bam, that never gets old. Go to the front. That's awesome, it's innovation at its finest, only here at WetJet Performance. And remember, the Ram Air vents are molded for the hull. These aren't car parts. We make parts for sea dues We're gonna rock it out for you. But the install is very simple. You'll have regular instructions in there to help you out a little bit better. If you're one who like to read, we just wanted to show you the overall view of everything and how it generally bolts up. But if you're pretty savvy, a good DIY person, or get a pro shop if you don't want them to get messed up, get them to do it for you. So this has been Cowboy B with another great video. Peace.